Okay, Vicki, so now we're on the other side of the property from where we were across, you know, from uh, where the neighbor was, the other side. So up at the top, there's a gate that goes out into the forest, which is also our property. And then this is just all forest, forest, forest. We have 40 acres and this, actually back up to that corner, that meets with 88 landlocked acres that um, the people who originally had all this land and divided it still own, but um, no one will grant easements for a building to go there. So I don't know if it will ever get sold or what will happen. And then this direction, um, we back up to BLM land. And so this road uh, is going to wind back around to the house. See, Jesse down there is near the horse trailer. Um, Kaylee's little parking spot for her horse trailer. And then um, there's a little road that also goes up this way and meets up with that road. So that's just a little short walk we do sometimes with the dogs. It, of course, is not nearly enough for Jesse. I mostly use that for a little ankle biter who I'll have to get on video to show you one of these days. And then... Um, just to give you reference of where we are. So this building here is the back side of the shop. And you remember that from the video showing you our property. And then going up this road, so there is a horse trailer. And then up this little road is the horse arena. So Kaylee can work her horses. And we have a big, big circular driveway. So walking past the horse trailer, heading back to our circular driveway is the barn and, oh, you can't see it because there's trees. Okay, let me get over here. And, 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 well, you still can't see it. You'll just have to trust me, the house is over there. See the, the boat cover? Yeah. But the dogs and I don't go back that way. We do the loop of the driveway. There's Barry. Jesse! Where have we left, lost Miss Jesse? She likes to cut back over there behind the shop because that's where my domestic rabbits hang out. And she has gotten bad about chasing them again. Although I will say she does not chase them, I do not think with the intent to do harm because she's never caught them. And I can't believe she couldn't catch them if she wanted to because she is so fast. Jessie! Oh, she's back at the house. Come on! Come here, Jess! Jess, 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 come on! Okay, let's see, here she's coming. Do you see her running way back there in the background? Here she comes. Come on, Jess! Come on, let's go. We gotta wear you out, Missy. Of course, Naughty, always cheerleading. Always telling us we're not moving right, not moving fast enough. Come on, come on, come on. If you need an exercise, buddy, Naughty's your girl. I don't know if you can see those little trees. They're knocked over there. I think we had a little twister go through back there in the forest. Those trees are knocked down and then farther back that way I found quite a few little tiny ones. It wasn't much of a wind, but enough to knock the little trees over. Come on, let's go. Jesse and Jabari are just best of friends. They do everything together. What's the matter, Jess? Come on. Jesse. Let's go. Okay, so this is our circle driveway meeting up 
with the other circle. So if we were to go that way, we would come to our gate and going this way, we'll be back to the house. See how much quieter they are now, how much calmer. Walks are a wonderful thing, even if they're not really super long walks. There's Kaylee's horses over there, waiting to be let out. She is very kind and waits until I've had my walk with the dogs before she lets them out. But I don't know why I say she's very kind. It is our property, and the child does live here rent-free, so she better be kind, right? Okay. And see our little goat sign. This is what you see if you're driving up to our house. And oh, where did that go? This is my favorite sign because this really appeals to my silly sense of humor. I used to have a duck. I used to have lots of ducks. And oh, the foxes, oops, I almost fell. <laughs> the foxes are horrible on the ducks. The poor, poor ducks got eaten one by one, mainly because they wouldn't go in at night so I could lock them up. If I could have locked them up, they might have survived. So this is my polonia tree, and it was huge. See how tall it was? And Kaylee's horses girdled it, and I thought killed it, but this came up from the roots. This is already taller than I am. And, of course, you can't tell in this video how big the leaves are, but the leaves are easily, I mean, the biggest one is probably 16 inches across. They're just huge, very cool trees. All right, so here we are, back at the house. Bye, Vicki.